we're making Mexican pizza on a protective diet. And we are starting off with our 12 inch fresh milled whole wheat flour tortillas that we rolled out and baked in the air fryer. This time around, instead of eight, I made 12 so that I could get them this size to mimic the Mexican pizza. Starting off with my Julie's beans cooked in the Instant Pot and blended in my high speed blender. This is my favorite way lately to eat Julie's beans, that's right. And I always put them on too heavy. Keep in mind, you're gonna cut this Mexican pizza or you could eat it tostada style, so you don't wanna to go too heavy with the beans. Save some for your next Mexican pizza, because this is a protective diet. We're eating way more than one Mexican pizza. All of these will be gone tonight between Jerry and I. Next goes in is our instant cheese sauce, and this is leftover from last night, along with my taco sauce leftovers. So it's a little bit cold, it's not spreading as easy, but it sure is silky. If you haven't tried Protective Diet's new instant cheese sauce, I don't know what you're waiting for. And then we've got our taco sauce, additive free and homemade quickie on a protective diet. Then next on to this, Jerry loves fresh onions on everything, mm -hmm. so I had to dice them up to add to the top. And what else are we going to add? Another tortilla. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Then on top of that tortilla, we're putting some of this instant cheese sauce. Does everyone remember the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell? They discontinued it. It was my favorite. One was never enough. So I always ordered it as like a starter with a burrito supreme. Come on. Then more taco sauce. And we could put some pickled jalapenos on top. Why not? Makes it look pretty. Where does the sauerkraut go? Oh, of course. I've got to put sauerkraut does not belong on Taco Bell. But on Taco Well it does on a protective diet. And it's so beautiful. I can't pass up adding that to everything that I eat. You dollop of sour cream? Yes, we've, we're gonna add the sour cream after we cut it. Okay. How about that? Perfect. This is a crunchy cr cut, so listen up everybody. Oh my gosh. I should get my pizza cutter, Jerry. Grab me a pizza cutter and a plate. There's the plate and here's the pizza cutter. Thank you. Listen to that crunch. Yeah, definitely use a pizza cutter. It works so much better. And then, you know how I like to veg it up. So I've got some shredded iceberg. You could use shredded romaine, shredded cabbage. You could use the taco slaw. That would be fantastic underneath this Mexican pizza. And then we layer this on top. And as it goos and drips through, it dresses our salad underneath our pizza. Fantastic. And then I'll add my Jerry's plant-based yogurt as crema or sour cream to each one. When I ate Taco Bell, I was always like, extra sour cream. And man, I paid for it, both financially they charged and physically. and physically. Not on a protective diet, we don't. We're saving money, cutting costs, improving food quality, and slimming down unbelievably. Try a Mexican pizza. Take care. And best of health, it's time to eat.